Hello, I'm Sadir Hanish coming to you from the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting in Chicago. I'm at the Wills booth on the exhibit floor where I just uh, gave a talk on uh, deep anterior lamellar keroplasty, what it has taught us about corneal ultrastructure. We had a nice audience that came to listen to the talk and learn about the offerings that Wills Eye Hospital gives when it comes to medical education, specifically our web portal with more than 600 talks and conferences available free of charge to people online. Today's talk was about the intricacies of deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty, specifically what we now know is a new structure, not new in its origin, but new in its discovery and nomenclature, i.e. Dua's layer, which is this uh, structure that's about 10 to 15 microns thick in the posterior corneal stroma that is acellular and resistant to rupture. We're calling it Dua's layer after Harminder Dua, who was also a Wills graduate from 1994 and is now the chairman of ophthalmology at Nottingham in England. Uh, Dua's layer has allowed us to understand the different type of big bubbles that can appear when we inject air into the posterior stroma big bubble type 1, which is a bubble that uh, appears anterior to Dua's layer, and big bubble type 2 that appears anterior to Decimase membrane and posterior to, to uh, Dua's layer. Uh, with big bubble type 1, which is the one we get most of the time, the chance of perforating into the anterior chamber is minimal. With big bubble type 2, since it appears anterior to Decimase membrane, we have to be more careful in completing our dissection which can still be achieved very, very, very successfully, and the procedure can be completed without uh, uh, conversion to penetrating keroplasty. So it's an exciting time to be a cornea specialist. It's an exciting time to be at Wills and to be bringing you these exciting developments in the field of corneal surgery. Thank you.